there guys, Luigi by 4 back here again with another video. Welcome back to another vlog. Now, I understand it's been a really, really long time since we've done a vlog. It's been, I think, two months since we've sat down and I've actually shared what's going on uh, with you guys. And I, I appreciate you guys hanging in there. It's It's been a while. Uh, there's a lot that's been going on. It's It's been crazy. There's been like a massive like transitional thing, like a few ups and a few downs and stuff like that. But that's generally life. Uh, there's been a lot going on and in terms of the Lego room as always it is an absolute diabolical mess like look at like everything that I've been working on like the stickers have even been out like way over here we've got the mall just about finished um, I probably won't reveal that just yet because I want to do an actual video uh, with you know explaining everything that's gone in there I need to make a few adjustments to it as well because I've built some walls up and they don't really fit um, like sometimes when you're building like modulars and you're building floors uh, sometimes like the way you connect it underneath to give it support sometimes like gets in the way of other things so you have to you know make some adjustments on the fly so that's probably what I'll be doing again today uh, I've got some pick a brick containers that I got uh, yesterday while I was at the Metro Centre in Newcastle um, so I've got a few things that I need to sort of go through today so one i need to go see um my boss at work uh, so i'm going to take a bike ride up there uh, i gotta take the puddings for a walk or dudley and daisy um the, we give them these random nicknames so they're the puddings um i've got some replacements uh for the hospital just over there i need to take out all blue windows and put in uh, clear windows because I'm not really digging the blue vibe and I grabbed some stuff from the pick a brick wall that I can replace those with um, What else have we got to do? We've got to tidy this obviously uh, I've got some house stuff to do um, And like I said, it's just been a crazy transitional period like there's lots been going on um, And hence why there's just been loads of short videos because like I said before they're really easy for me to make um, it takes me maybe like 10 minutes to sort of plan out what I'm going to do and do some sort of video for you guys. Um, and it's just it's just been easier while there's been a lot of stuff in the background going on. So without further ado, let's... Would you? Would you? What's what's would you? <laughs> without further ado, let, I don't know whether... Is that actually a word? Sometimes, right? I was going to get right into this vlog, but sometimes this has been bugging me for ages. Does... It might just be me, but sometimes I have a word in my head and I have the sentence that I'm going to say and sometimes when I go to say it, so say for instance, Hi, I'm Lewis Blue. I do Lego videos. Sometimes when I'm thinking that in my head, sometimes words will just fill in automatically. So instead of it, it'll be like, Hi, I'm Lewis Blue. I ride horses and look at the sky. It's crazy today. There's elephants there. That's literally how my mind feels like sometimes. But it could just be because I've got up and my shift patterns are all over, so I'm still a little bit tired. I don't know. Um, but yeah, let's get into this vlog, guys. <laughs> so guys, I've just got back um, from seeing my boss. Lovely bike ride. It's it's windy as hell outside. I don't know how well you can see it. But yeah, it's it's really windy. Um, and it's a little bit, a little bit crazy out there. Like, traveling in headwind and then... The wind changes and I'm, I'm riding back in the headwind. But uh, let me see if I can just put this down somewhere. Uh, let me grab one of these tubs and I can sort of rest you guys up against there. Is this gonna work? Is this, I hope it's gonna work. Right, yeah, that's, is that an all right angle for you guys? I've had to move a tree for you guys, come on. Um, so this, the last year and a half of my life has literally been ruined by this whole COVID thing. Um, the start of it was like a chance that I took. And then ever since I took that chance, everything seems to just be thrown back in my face from work that I've done, people I've worked with, being betrayed. There's just a whole host of stuff that I feel like, it, I feel like I've done something like really bad in a previous life and all this karma is coming back to, to haunt me or something because I honestly don't understand it. So in the last video, the last actual video that I did on this channel, I mentioned about me not having time and me being stressed and there was things that I needed to sort out in the background so I could move on with my channel and carry on doing things and try to put money into other avenues instead of spending it on Lego. And um, That's generally the mature sort of thing to do. If you've got bills to pay, you build, you know, pay them first before you buy, you know, Lego and 
waste money you know it's not it's not disposable income at the moment like i have like enough to cover pretty much bills and things like that and it's been super stressful it's it's been a crazy ride and slowly but surely like things are kind of like sorting themselves out so i took that big chance in like february last year i think yeah around about february last year time i think or the year before I think it was February 2020. To be honest, it's just like, it's all merged together and it's just one big massive mess up in my brain and it's hard to, you know, have an accurate memory of all this stuff. But, so, took a took a chance and went for this job opportunity. That job opportunity didn't work out and um, it was in the middle of the COVID uh, crisis, pandemic, whatever the hell you want to call it. I'm sick of going on about it, but... Um, I then <clears throat> left that job and found another job and I was doing graphic design um, and I was helping like a travel business uh, with all sorts like admin duties, uh, some like um, like passenger assistant roles like taking uh, kids um, who have special needs, behavioural issues and stuff like that, taking them to and from school and to and from home um, and looking after them on the odd couple of occasions then mainly working in the office, managing Facebook pages, websites, stuff like that. Um, and what happened towards the end, COVID was still like rife here in the UK. I don't know what it's like in the States or in Japan or anything like that, wherever you guys are from. It's it's different everywhere. Like people having lockdowns and people are having, you know, these like two week freedom type things. It's, it's a mess basically. Um, and my boss at the time said, listen, you know, I'm like, I'm having to make sacrifices to keep the business afloat um, and I'm having to let people go. And I was one of the people, uh, along with a couple of others, that uh, that went. Now, that was like four weeks ago. So in the time that I've been out of work, uh, I found another position and it was literally like a temporary position just at like a supermarket here in the UK called Tesco's. Literally just like stacking shelves, jumping on the till, doing a bit of like stock in the in the warehouse and things like that. And I've got all that experience. It was, it was, it's kind of it's all right. it's all right. It's like it pays it pays the bills, I suppose. It's not amazing money, but um, you got to do what you got to do to survive and to keep you know this roof over our heads. And Jess is working really hard, and I'm trying to just do whatever I can just to try and bring in extra money. So that's why I set up a Fiverr account. I'm just doing graphics work and all that sort of jazz. Um, but yeah, it's, it, it has been tough. It, it's been tough and, um, I'm, I'm glad to be getting back to some sort of normal routine and normality. So today I actually spoke to, uh, my old boss, uh, in the travel business and he's offered me my old job back. Um, I'm guaranteed hours, uh, with this job. So I'm going to go back there and do the graphic design stuff. And for me, it's... It's like a stepping stone, I suppose. It is something that I'm comfortable in um, and something that is permanent. But I have got other things. I've got other like job opportunities um, coming up. Like I've got one on the 15th of September that's for the like local council. And it's a really, really good opportunity. It's back up to where I was being paid before. Like be before the COVID pandemic, I was getting like a decent annual salary. Um, and it was enough where me and Jess could go on holiday, we could have things done to the house, uh, we could have all these things. I didn't have to worry about the mortgage being paid and, and stuff like that. Um, so I'm hoping that that opportunity comes through and I always share everything with you guys. Like you guys have been here since day one. I've had a lot of um, close people uh, reach out to me and ask me how I'm doing and um, they're, they're your true fans and friends and stuff like that. And uh, I really appreciate you guys and I'd just like to say thank you and stuff, but I always set up this channel not to BS anybody, not to lie about something or cover up anything. Where I could, I would always be honest. And yeah, it hasn't been great. It's it's sucked. Like I've had to put things to one side. I've had to put, um, God, loads of opportunities to one side. I've had to put dreams that I have, dreams that Jess has to one side because we have to focus on working out how much funds we need to support us and to help pay the mortgage and the car and, you know, things like that and vet bills and all those sort of things. It's 
it's been crazy and, and don't get me wrong guys i'm not saying this because i'm looking for any sort of compensation or anything i'm telling this to you guys because i appreciate you guys and i'm sure you guys appreciate me i love building lego and i love doing these little random vlogs and videos and it's just it's nice to interact with people and to be honest i'm not one for being very sociable outside i'm quite uh, introvert and i sort of i only have a very few selective close group of friends um and and they're the people that count and the people that make time for me i always make time for them regardless of whatever it is um it's yeah it's all it's always been like a a weird situation but i mean yeah I'll, I'll always try and be honest with you guys and like i said i'll never try and bs anybody and put any of that stuff um out there but that's just to explain what's going on today i've still got tons of stuff i've done all the housework uh, that needs to be done um i need to film like so many other videos as well i've got like uh the masonry apartments that i need to change up because oh my word they didn't have my bricks um I've got a couple of things that I need to work out. So I will get there at some point. Like I, I'm filming videos today. So yeah, let's, do, let's just get the rest of this vlog out of the way with. <laughs> so I still haven't cleaned up <laughs> this mess as of yet. I've filmed a couple of videos. Uh, I'm just about to film uh, the third and final one for today. Um, and then I'll probably end up adding more bits to this vlog. Um, but we filmed the change up to the mystery apartments. I think it looks a lot better with that um, lighter tone. It still looks a little bit dark. It's probably just the lighting in here, but I might change the uh, the front facade just a little bit. Let me move this container out of the way. Um, I might change up the front facade a little bit just because I'm not too sure whether those um, nougat or nugget um, tones work well with the, uh, the dark tan. So it's more of like the burgundy colors that work well. So I don't know whether I'm gonna change those for burgundy, but then is it gonna, you know, match the uh, fire station? I don't really want it to match the fire station. I want it to look something completely different. And that's not the final uh, destination for it. I'm just, it's there as, um, as a temporary placeholder, so to speak. But we have just, oh my God, there's just everything everywhere. I've like sorted out all my cars and stuff that I've actually got out on the table. Still haven't changed up the windows um, for the hospital. There's just stuff everywhere that I need to sort. And we're just about to film this video. So this is the, the mall that I've been working on. You guys will see all the crazy details and stuff. It's been, it's been a labor of love. It's been a hard journey to try and sort of get this all sorted and get it looking um, to some sort of decent quality to where I can make a video out of it. Um, so I'm just setting up the uh, the scene with everybody here. I'm just going to make like a little quick um, ribbon cutting sort of ceremony type thing um, just down below. So I'm just getting out a couple of um, small bits. Like I'll probably end up getting some sort of utensils out of these and see if I can get some scissors and stuff like that for the ribbon cutting. But I'm I'm pretty impressed with it. I'm really happy with how it turned out. It's exactly what I wanted. Um, and it, it, it just looks amazing in my point of view. It's, oh, I, I can't wait to actually um, get it up and get it out the way. Um, and it's just gonna be set up in the city. I'm still gonna have to buy some road plates at some point um, to try and cover up the white underneath. Um, we don't really have anything at the moment. Um, but I might put some black card there as a placeholder uh, just to see what happens. We've actually still got loads of these left as well. I didn't realize how many I got. I barely used anything. Like, there's the lid there. Like, barely used any to uh, to finish off that. And then the great thing is, well, I've got loads of these stair bricks as well. So, get a film in this video. Um, and I'll probably end up just doing some sort of montage after this clip, um, tidying up the room. And I'm not too sure whether. It, whether I'm going to leave it there with the vlog or not. But we shall see anyway, guys.
that's us pretty much done guys i've tidied the uh the lego room it's looking miles better miles cleaner just it's it's nice to be able to see something uh looking a little bit nicer so the mall right over there looking nice with everybody waiting outside I'm uh, really enjoying that actually. You've got like the, uh, the small road leading up to the beach. Um, ideally, I'm gonna have this full table covered. Um, we've got a little bit of overhang here where the uh, two tables meet there. And I think I'm probably gonna have that all the way along. Um, but what I might do is I might pull the table out a bit if I can and try and have the overhang on that side so I'm not knocking it uh, every time I come into game on the Xbox behind me, but it's it's looking really nice and I'm I'm really happy with it. Really really pleased. It's it's great to have it all looking nice and I'm I'm glad to be getting back into the uh, the filming of videos and stuff. And I hope you guys are looking forward to the stuff that's got in store. I've got the actual mall video uh, to come out. I've got a little masonry apartments like redo type video. Uh, I've got the latest pickups from the. Um, Lego store, bigger brick. Um, haven't really updated the shelves as much, but um, yeah, it's it, it's looking fairly decent, I would assume. So um, I'm gonna leave the vlog here today, guys. I was gonna film a little bit more, um, but I didn't realize how how much work was involved, and I've done loads of stuff today, and it's I'm kind of just wanting to chill. I'm going to meet Jess later on at work um, and take the dogs to go see her. So fingers crossed, if it doesn't rain, I'll still be able to do that. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for joining me on vlog number eight, guys. Uh, I hope you really enjoyed it. Uh, like, share, comment, and subscribe if you enjoy this type of content. And I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.